Hey everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. We're the RC Sailors, we're out in our airfield and we're here to test the Bugs 3 again. But today we're gonna fly it with an action cam mounted and we're also kind of double testing the action cam. Now if you wanna see everything that comes with this camera, we'll have a separate, sort of an unboxing just to show you all the accessories that comes with this and we'll have a link in the description box below. Let's set this off to the side for now because I want to show you guys a cool feature that I wasn't able to show you in the last video. I learned about this quadcopter. It's very nice. Uh, the top panel of this quad pops off pretty easily just with these four little corners that snap on. And then you can see all the guts on, on the inside, which is really cool. But the best part about this is they have all the uh, access points for everything to plug in here. And let's say you want to fly with a 5.8 gigahertz FPV camera. There are two screws holding this light in here. You unplug the light, take it out, and then you buy their 5.8 gigahertz FPV camera and you just plug that in and, uh, and, and you're ready to go with FPV, which I think is just the coolest thing ever. So let's pop this back on. We'll put our action camera mounted to the bottom. I'll show you how easy that is. Now we did test the Turnigy 2K action cam. It does fit in here perfectly, but today we're trying to test out this brand new camera. Again, this is a $50 action cam that claims to film in 4K. So because when you put this in, the top button is inaccessible um, when it's in there, I wanna go ahead and turn it on. Nice little camera. It does have a little preview screen on the back. It comes with two batteries, but again, just check that video out if you wanna see it in action. Um, it does have Wi-Fi so you can get a live feed. But we're gonna go ahead and start filming that. <clears throat> and just kind of mount it down here. Now this does come with some foam padding. So if you notice jello vibrations in this video, um, maybe we would add our foam padding. But today we're just flying because it's a nice snug fit. Just snap that on. Uh, we don't really need that. So uh... looks like it's still filming. That's going just fine. Now, you'll notice I'm not flying with my landing gear or prop guard. I prefer flying that way. If, if you're, you're new to flying, fly, I do highly recommend the landing gear because then you won't have to take off from the edge of a table or by your hand or something, which is a little bit unsafe. Uh, and if you're very new to flying, I highly recommend the prop guards that come with this quadcopter. So I'm going to fly without those. I want to see how it does without all that stuff. Just my personal preference. Let's go ahead and get this kicked on and fly it with the camera. Turn the transmitter on first, then our quadcopter. <clears throat> now we normally want to take off from a nice level surface, but because uh, we've already got it nice and calibrated, I'm just going to go ahead and take off from my hand. Very cool. It's flying with about a third of the power, third of the throttle. Um, just to stay hovering there. I think I like the angle. Let's see what the angle looks like on the camera. It's aiming down just a hair, so we're not getting all quad and uh, landing gear. So I think I like the camera angle that we have. As long as I fly it kind of docile, it should be a pretty good angle to film in. Let's go ahead and fly around some. See how this looks. We'll get a nice high shot of the field and the facility and everything here. I've heard that this will fly really far away too. It's got a good connection. So that should be a pretty cool shot of everything, I, I think. So really, this video's main purpose is just to see how this quad flies with a camera mounted to it. If you wanna see some of the other features that are included in this quad, we did a first flight video with nothing mounted to it just to see how it would do and the flight time. And, uh, I flew it around very fast. So that's that was a fun video that we just recently did. If you haven't seen that, I invite you to come over to our channel to check that video out. We'll fly around a little quicker now. Do you think I should bring it in and aim the camera up some since I'm flying a little faster? Whatever you think. Okay. I think I'll do that. Let's Let's bring it in, we'll pitch the camera up, and then I'll fly it around really fast. I think that'll be a fun view for everyone. So, Okay, we'll stop our motors. We'll just pitch this forward some. 
Now we're probably gonna see a little bit more quad in the shot, but I'm gonna fly around forward more. So hopefully it's a better angle than just looking at the grass. Let's get that going again. We're banging up there now, but once I start flying forward, it should be a more level view. So I'm gonna just kind of zip it around the field and have a little fun flying. I, I realize it's still aiming down some, but probably better than what it was. Now for a quadcopter, that's flying with a camera mounted to the bottom like this. You know, this is this is pretty cool. It's a pretty powerful quadcopter. Sorry, Abby. That's fun. Make everybody dizzy. Time for some cyclones. Well, that's just in the low rate. So let's hit up the higher rate and see how we do. Oh, no. I was in the higher rate. Good. Okay, we're in the more docile rate now. So this would be better for filming. I guess I had started it in the high rate, but that's fine. Uh, this, this is probably nice, smooth footage. I hope the camera turns out. It's, uh... it's a Wemus action camera that we got <laughs> a funny name. on Amazon. Yeah. Wemus. Yeah. I had a fish when I was little that I named Winkus. <laughs> so this reminds me of my, it was a beta fish. This reminds me of my beta fish, Winkus, but this is a Wemus. <laughs> the Wemus fan. <laughs> <laughs> they weemus, they wobble, but they don't fall over. What is that? Are they weevil, they wobble? Yeah. <laughs> so there's our nice muddy track right now. It's, it's been so rainy out, guys. So rainy. I wonder if it'll do a flip okay with the camera. Should we test it? I think we should. Why not? Might as well. Might That's as well. <laughs> Okay, let's flip it up. We'll do a side flip here. It's pretty windy. It's pretty windy. I'm sure you guys can hear it. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, yeah. Okay, that was nice. Now, the altitude drop was totally me. I brought it back down. I'll try to do a flip without losing much altitude. Let's try it back. Pretty nice. That's actually really nice. Didn't lose any altitude. I didn't mean to have all. to move except Not to go left. Let's do a front flip. Very cool. Oh, I like that. Okay, let's go back to a higher rate. I like zipping this around fast. This is a very fun quadcopter to fly. Whoa, yeah, Nelly. I just wanted to get her back around before I got close to those power lines. There's a pole there. Very fun to fly. It does have a little more momentum to it. When I'm turning, I notice it's kind of wider on the turns because of the extra weight on the bottom. So you do have to allow a little more time to stop it. Very fun to fly. I mean, I am just... How is this compared to your flight without the camera? Well, the flight without the camera, it cuts through the air a little better because it doesn't have as much weight. When you add weight, the throttle is less effective, which is why I like to fly without prop guards, landing gear, and get the quad as light as possible. Because for me, the more power and authority the motors have, the more enjoyable it is to fly. So if someone wants to use this as an actual race drone, because I think it has the capability of doing that. Yeah, I mean, I you can't fly can. an Acro or anything, but right. it's a good beginner drone to do some FPV. What do you recommend them doing? I recommend they buy the quad the way it is, because it's about $110 and just get used to flying at line of sight like I'm doing. When you can finally feel comfortable with zipping it around like this, even with prop guards and landing gear on, then it's time to invest in their optional FPV camera. And you saw how easy it was to pop the top off. And that's no, gonna have 5.8 gigahertz? 5.8 gigahertz. And then I'm guessing you'd recommend the Cyclops Quantum, Quantum Cyclops, Cyclops goggles because they're really cheap and yeah. they're really easy to get set up. That's my personal recommendation. And then yeah. you would not want to put a camera as bulky as this Wemus like we have. You'd probably want to get an action camera. Well, this isn't uh, action like camera. The, that was close. Like that Foxier Legend bright orange one that we use. No, I disagree. This no? is a good one. Yeah, this would be fine to film your flights. Uh, if you wanted to film your FPV kind of like race flights, yeah, uh -huh. this would be great. Okay. Just aim your camera up a little more than what I have it. You wouldn't make a smaller one, maybe mount it on the nah, top of No, this is really be light. And you know what? It's a $50 camera. Well, with all the accessories. Yeah. So assuming the footage looks good, and I hope it does, because this is the first time we've used it, um, 
I think this is the way to go. I mean, it's cheap. You want cheap. When you're racing a drone around fast and high potential of a hard crash, I think cheap is the way to go, especially when you're practicing. So the reason to have two cameras on there is one is for your FPV footage that's going to transmit the signal to your goggles. Now you can have some that record what you're seeing through like a DVR kind of system, but if you want like crystal clear, good looking video, then that's where the second camera kind of comes yeah, into play. Absolutely. Because I know a lot of people have kind of asked about that, how you get that set up. So this is one we'll of try the... to link some things <coughs> in the description box. That sounds good. Okay. This is absolutely one of the better performing drones for uh, around that $100 price point that I've ever had my hands on. I, I absolutely love it. And the, the camera itself is a $50 camera with just a ton of accessories. And in another video, I either will have already done this or probably the next day, I will have shown you guys all the accessories that comes with this camera. Now, most of the time for GoPro, you'd spend $100 just for the accessories that comes with this camera. So. If this looks okay, I see no reason to ever own a GoPro. <laughs> I mean, they're just super high on the price. I was lost on that one. It's a lot of fun to fly. I mean, I really feel like I have a lot of control over this when it's in the air. There's a low battery. I feel like this would be a really good beginner race drone. I, I really agree. do. Yeah. Maybe not a first quadcopter, but definitely beginner race drone. You're wanting to get into race drones. I think that's a good one. That is just fun. That's just fun. The beeping that you heard is another nice feature this quad has. Not only do the lights blink when you're low, and the blue ones would have too, but uh, as soon it, as you land, the blue ones turn off. That's right. When it gets low, the uh, transmitter it beeps, and I apologize for that. I'm gonna try to turn that off. This says it recorded in 4K at 30 frames per second, and uh, I put in a 16 gig micro SD card. It says that it recorded for 11 minutes, so I'm guessing my flight was about 10 minutes on, on this with a camera mounted to it. It's very cold out too. We're probably in the low 40s right now, I'd say, which does affect your battery life. Now that's not gonna drastically affect it like being at eight degrees or something like we've flown other times, but maybe knocked a few seconds off the flight a bit. But I do think that I extended my flight by probably close to a minute by not having the landing gear on and the prop guards. Major tip though, for all you guys that are newer to flying, do not do what I did by taking off and catching it with my hand. I've flown quads probably close to a thousand times. There's still risk for me to get hurt, but I do know what I'm doing a lot better than someone new to flying. So bear that in mind, you need to put your landing gear on for all takeoffs and all landings if you're using a camera. Without the action camera, you don't need the longer landing gear because it does come with some shorter landing gear under the motors. You only need those if you're gonna have some type of action camera mounted to the bottom. And then, of course, if you're new to flying, put your prop cards on. They're kind of like training wheels for the RC world. So anyway, Oops. there you have it. <laughs> you're dozing off? Yeah. <laughs> is it that? I thought this was exciting. Goodness. It is. I was looking at my zipper because I'm cold and it wasn't zipped all the way and I drifted. Well, that's fine. So the Bugs 3, I really like. I'm definitely keeping this quadcopter for my own personal enjoyment to fly. It flies for a long time. It's a lot of fun to fly. It does a really, really good job. I'm very personally impressed. We will have this link for you in the description box below, as well as this action camera. And uh, if you want to see all the accessories. And maybe some other FPV gear too. Yeah. Anyway, this was a really good setup for a really good price. I like this a lot. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.